Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Wana. Today is the 22nd of December 2019. We're going to reflect on Matthew 1, 18 to 24. Listen. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall con conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus, the Gospel of the Lord. Following God is not easy, and those whom God chooses for some special plan have it particularly rough. Consider Mary. Young she was, stupid she wasn't, and she must have realized the consequences of her yes to God. She would be rejected by her husband because there was no way that he would accept her carrying what he would imagine was another man's child. She could be stoned because that was the punishment for adultery. Who would believe her story? There would be no chance of her getting married again. Who would want her? She would be shunned by the entire community, the subject of scorn and gossip. She would have to find a way to support herself, and the employment opportunities were severely limited to somebody considered of low moral character. If Mary hadn't considered all these things when talking to the angel Gabriel, I am sure they crossed her mind later. She didn't waver in her decision. And those around her didn't have it easy as well. Consider Joseph. Scripture describes him as a righteous man. This meant he observed the law. The law stated that adultery made Mary unmarriageable. Joseph would not break the law by marrying her, but his righteousness was not merely external. He wanted to do the right thing, so he decides to divorce her quietly to spare her as much embarrassment as possible. Now, Some people become very vindictive in situations like this, Joseph was anything but. An angel comes to him in a dream, telling him a bizarre story that the child was miraculously conceived by the Holy Spirit and that he should take Mary for his wife. Imagine him waking up from a dream like this. First, trying to convince himself that the dream was real. Second, trying to make the decision to take Mary as his wife. And third, trying to come to terms with everything that implied. When we read these passages here, they seem so matter of fact, but they would have been torturous for both people. To repeat myself, following God is not easy, and every step of the way is fraught with peril. You just have to follow Mary and Joseph's journey over the next few years, trying to find a place for the baby to be born, making difficult journeys, protecting him from all those who would try to kill him until 33 years later they actually would. It is like that, well, kind of, for every person who wants to do the will of God. Did you want to hear that it was easy? Sorry to disappoint you, but you know what? This is like high adventure. You enjoy it. Trust me. God bless you.